about competitive versus non-competitive inhibition and things that are related to that. Just like many students have trouble with this competitive versus, I'm sorry, non-competitive versus competitive. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. So when it comes to competitive versus non-competitive, and now there's a graph in the first day with a bunch of arrows. I uh -huh. want to make sure you understand what's happening, right? So we're going to talk about uh, the story of love. Oh, I know. Oh. I know, right? All right. So <laughs> we're going to talk about, right? Let's say we have an enzyme, any enzyme. It doesn't matter what the enzyme is, okay? Let's just say this is an enzyme. This is one site in the enzyme. Mm -hmm. And then this would be another site in the enzyme whatever enzyme this may be, okay? This is just a structure. Now, what I mean here is that what we have a, what's known as a regulatory or allosteric site. So I just put an R right here for a regulatory site, right? Allosteric. And then we have an active site, active, right? Okay. So the regulatory site would be analogous to the heart. Oh, okay. Right? El corazón, right? As and therefore the active site would be more the brain, maybe even the amygdala, if you want to be a little bit more specific, right? It's like, oh, excitement. Okay. So we'll think of the brain. All right. So now here comes along somebody. Let's say we have, let's say this is hemoglobin, right? Let's say this is a hemoglobin enzyme right here. Okay. He's just hanging out. And hemoglobin normally has oxygen bound to its active site. Yeah. Okay. So let's say, let's make it like this. Okay. So let's say oxygen like this. Boom. See, it kind of looks like so. We'll do it like this. This represents our O2, right? This will be our mm -hmm. oxygen right here. All right. So heme got a thing going on with, or hemoglobin has a thing going on with oxygen. It's a lovely relationship. They let go of each other. They fight sometimes. They come back together. Then they fight. Then they separate. Then they come back together. It's been happening since day one. Okay. No big deal. All right, great. But then here comes along another guy named carbon monoxide. Ooh. And look, ooh, and he's green. That means he got money. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> I like that, right? Hemoglobin likes that. So here comes carbon monoxide. Now carbon monoxide has a much more of an affinity right mm -hmm. to this hemoglobin so let's quickly talk about that affinity mm -hmm. to me at least means love love. Mm -hmm. love right so for example i have a son i have a very very high affinity for him if it were up to me i would never let him go i would always be holding on to him and hugging him forever never never but mm -hmm. He has to leave because if not, then we can't make these videos. So that being said, <laughs> I have high affinity for him. I have a lot of love for him. But from time to time, I got to let him go. Same thing with oxygen and hemoglobin. They have a high affinity for one another, but carbon monoxide. Oof. I mean, wow. Did you see him? He had, he had the blue eyes. He had the nice car and the fat wallet. And it comes from a nice family and his breath smells good. Wow. What a guy. What so. A guy. Right? Wow. So what happens is they start to compete. Right? On guard mm -hmm. is what happens. They start to compete. And eventually, because carbon monoxide is literally just activating the active site, right? Like, wow, it's so nice, right? There's a bunch mm -hmm. of just amygdala stuff going on. So what's happening is that CO, uh, I'm sorry, carbon monoxide is coming in and he's knocking oxygen out of its place, out of his place, right? Mm-hmm. And he's actually taking the place of oxygen. Boom. With a high graph in it. You see that? So now, exactly, because a high affinity. Mm -hmm. Therefore, l causing oxygen to be displaced. You see? So what yeah. happens is, hemoglobin saturation remains high. Because it is saturated, only okay. with carbon monoxide. Mm -hmm. You see? Okay. Yeah. So now, notice that I said they compete. What that means is that oxygen, he's going to say, I'm going to go do some push-ups and I might get some, I don't know, I'm going to go get a, I'm going to get a real job, right? Maybe two jobs, make some nice money, maybe get some shiny stuff, impress her, right? Mm -hmm. My hemoglobin molecule, right? Okay. Or whatever he has to do. And what's, hap what's going to happen is he's going to get big and bad. He's going to invite all his boys. Hey guys, look, so 
we got this guy over here, carbon monoxide, trying to take my take my hemoglobin from me. So what they what he does is that they gang up. And now we have five molecules to one carbon monoxide. So what's mm -hmm. gonna happen? They're gonna gang up and eventually they will again compete. Compete. Yeah. And what'll happen? They will push him off. And hemoglobin once again reigns supreme. You see? Yeah. All right. So that's why with carbon monoxide poisoning, you got to give 100% oxygen. You see that? Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Increase okay, good. Right. And so therefore what happens is exactly, you have to increase the concentration, right? You got to increase the concentration of oxygen. Mm -hmm. And this is called competitive inhibition because they are yeah. competing with each other. So mm -hmm. how about you do me this favor? Instead of spelling competitive the correct way, spell competitive with a K- competitive mm -hmm. and spell the word concentration with a K concentration, right? Mm -hmm. Concentration. And you say, well, okay, I know I increased the K, K, uh, the K for concentration, K for competitive, K for KM. Okay. So whenever my KM <clears throat> increases, I expect to see competitive inhibition going on. Mm -hmm. I expect to see an increase in concentration. KM, increase, increase concentration. Mm -hmm. So I have to increase the concentration of oxygen in order to get the same effect that I was, or I was uh, once getting before. Perfect. You see that? Yeah. Also remember that when KM is high, affinity is low. Yeah, they're irreversibly proportional to one another. Right? It's mm -hmm. low. Please remember that. It's very high yield. Okay. Very nice. So that's some competitive stuff. That's yeah. some KM um, stuff. Yes. Um, Kyle, I remember that KM is the one mm -hmm. that is affecting competitive inhibition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, when you are competing mm -hmm. uh, on a race, I would say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you want to increase the amount of kilometers that you have at the end. I like that. Okay. Okay, if you're running a yeah. marathon or something, like, okay, I see yeah, what you're saying. Exactly. I like that. Okay, cool. I like that. Yeah. That's a good way, too. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, whatever works. Whatever works, but I like that. It's really yeah. good. Okay, good. So, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this enzyme again, because there's a lot going on in that one. I want you to keep mm -hmm. that one. So, let's kind of do this here. Here we got again. Again, same thing. Active Regulatory active site, active, active site. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Regulatory site, active site. So now <clears throat> here we have our oxygen and hemoglobin. They're having a great time. That's it. They had a little issue before. She kind of went a little crazy with carbon monoxide, but you know, she's all right now. We're all right. Everything's good. <laughs> or he or whatever you want to call it. Right. That call me biased. Um, but now <clears throat> what happens is here comes along that long lost love, right? So she's mm -hmm. been with oxygen, the hemoglobin has been with oxygen. I keep saying she. He's been with oxygen with, for so long, and then here comes that long-lost love, right? I'm sure you've had that, that one guy the, back in, I don't know, you were 15 or something, and he was like, oh, like he's the one, right? He has some crazy name, Frederico or something. And you say, <laughs> yeah. oh, he's the best, right? Some crazy name. It's never just like a Steve or something. So... Here we go. This guy has a different shape. He looks different. This guy's circular in nature. Boom. Mm -hmm. You see that? What he does is that he's going to go and affect the regulatory okay. site. Remember, I said the regulatory site was the heart. Mm -hmm. What happens, you being a woman, what happens if there's a change of heart? Ooh, big time, big difference. Mm -hmm. What happens if is when they're, when the, let's say, let's, in this case, I'm going to call it cyanide. When cyanide binds to the regulatory site, it causes a change of heart to the hemoglobin molecule. And all that, what that does is that it causes a conformational change to the hemoglobin molecule. And now, let me fix this. Give me a second. And now it looks like this. So now what happens is that it doesn't matter how much oxygen comes around. It can never, it can never bind. Exactly. Got you it. see that? Mm -hmm. So there is absolutely no competition. 
uh, non-competitive. Okay. Can't compete. There's no way. It doesn't matter how many oxygen molecules, no matter how many friends of his he invites over. Doesn't uh, matter. He can't compete. Can't compete. Okay. You see? Got it. Mm -hmm. So with non-competitive inhibition, what happens is that the KM is not necessarily affected because, again, there is no competition. Mm -hmm. What is affected, though, is my VMAX. Okay. You see? So my VMAX would be decreased in non-competitive. Quick side note, with non-competitive, another way to remember that one is irreversible. Okay. Okay. Whereas competitive would be reversible. Mm -hmm. How do you remember that? Which word is longer, irreversible or reversible? Irreversible. Exactly. What's longer, competitive or non-competitive? Non-competitive. And there it is. Uh, there it is. You see? Good. Let's keep it simple. All right. Very nice. Let's keep moving forward. Let's see here. So we have a competitive, not competitive. Uh, all right. Very nice. Uh, so, um, yes. Uh, in this Any case, how I, no question, just uh, adding something. Mm -hmm. uh, how I remember that VMAP is um, um, related to non-competitive. Mm -hmm. When you are non-competing, mm -hmm. your uh, maximum velocity will be low because you're not competing. You just go for like walking. So you just kind of walk. Okay, I see that. So you're not even reaching your maximum velocity because you're like, eh, yeah. I don't even care. Y'all go ahead. I'm just going to exactly. take it easy in this marathon. Go ahead, uh, carbon dioxide. You do your thing. Yeah. I'll just relax over here. Okay, I like that. That's really cool. That's funny. I like that. Awesome. Very nice. All right. Perfect. And that's what they mean by competitive versus non competitive VMAX and things of that nature. You see? Awesome. That's yeah. the difference. So now when they start talking about what happens with affinity or whatever, here there is no issue of KM. Therefore, there is no issue of affinity. affinity. The issue is VMAX. It's okay. VMAX. Oh, and real quick, if you have issues trying to calculate KM, just remember it's half of KMAX. Okay. Okay. Whatever VMAX is, cut that in half. That's your KM. That's all. Okay. Whatever okay. concentration falls at half of that, that's your KM. Okay. All right.